Good morning, software engineers. Not a lecture this time. What this is going to be is just an overview of what's going to be going on schedule-wise for the rest of the semester. I think I've got everything planned, finally. So let's go through it and make sure that we're all on the same page. So I'm going to post a link to uh, this video as usual in Piazza. So if you have any questions about anything on the schedule, let's keep everything on that Piazza thread. So that way you can go back and check uh, and see if other people have asked the same question and, and go on from there. So if we jump over to my browser window, I've updated the schedule. So I, I, I think there are basically three things we need to talk about. Lecture schedule with the guided practice, um, the project, and the final exam. Now, I'll skip the quizzes because the quizzes, they're on the schedule, those haven't changed. It's you get a week to do them, you're working on quiz four now, we're almost done grading quiz three. So those are gonna keep going as they are. Let's start with the lecture. So this kind of Monday, I do an intro to the, the quiz and any other like logistical stuff and then doing a, le a lecture video on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday seems to be working out for me as far as my schedule goes. Some of them are in the evening, but that seems to work out. So I went ahead and planned out the rest of the semester as you can see here. Next week is gonna be um, so uh, engineering software security. It's not dark arts. It's gonna be security from the perspective of, of um, software engineers and how we incorporate it into the, the life cycle. Uh, the next week after that, licensing and ethics. So we're going to be doing um, a lecture on software licenses and how they matter and, and all that sort of jazz. That one might be slightly longer than 20 minutes just because I'm gonna try and fit it all in one. Then I'm gonna do a quick lecture on um, what is the code of ethics for software engineers? How did it come about? Why do we look at it? And then we're gonna try to do a synchronous lecture. So on Thursday, April 16th at 11 a.m. Eastern, um, we're going to be we're going to try to do the live discussion of software ethics. I have no idea how it's going to work, but I figure let's give it a shot. During that time, we are going to be working on um, uh, the guided practice, but the guided practice will be made available on the Wednesday before it, and it'll be due um, that weekend. It'll be due on um, the uh, on the 18th. That's not a Wednesday. That should be Saturday. I will change that in just a moment. Um, so. Or Sunday. So the idea is uh, you, the, the guided practice will come out on the Wednesday when I release the first ethics lecture. Uh, if you want to come to and you can come to the live lecture on Thursday, we'll kind of work on it together there as we discuss some ethical situations. Or you can work on it by yourself. Either one is fine and watch the lecture later and then submit it over the weekend. Okay. So that's that's the week of April 12th through 18th. Okay. Now, the week of April 19 through 25, well, uh, I have a lot of question marks there. So by going to this kind of short lecture format and by removing the having two full days for quizzes, which we would have had, and removing some of the time where we'd be doing in-class exercises, it's actually ended up freeing up some time. So during those days, um, I might do some just some surprise things, some just fun videos, something like that, but I'm not going to add any content. But you can really think of that as, as a work week to finish up your projects. And the stuff that I do on the video will just be happy diversions, maybe something just kind of fun. If there's something anyone wants me to talk about, I'm happy to do so. Um, but that week of the 20th through the, the 25th, 20, or 19th through 25th, let's just do some fun things. Maybe, you know, whatever. If you have a request, let me know. Otherwise, I'll do something else. Um, then the, the last week, the 26th through May the 2nd, so officially classes end on the 28th, I believe. So right here it says final projects are due on Monday the 27th. It's gonna be the same way that we do the other sprint check things. So in order to submit your final project, well, let's, uh, let's jump over to projects. Let's just do that now. So that's the lecture schedule for the next few weeks, for the rest of the semester. If we look at the lab tab, I finished filling this out. So you just did sprint check four. This coming week is sprint check five, the week of April 6th, which is very similar to, to the this past week. Now the week of sprint check six, um, which is the week of the 13th, um, we're actually gonna give you 5,000 points for the sprint and then up to 25,000 points for your project. Now we were planning on doing this anyway, I think it actually works out better here in, in our current situation because you have a better idea of what's going on. The way we were looking at it was at the end of the semester, everyone turns in a project that builds. Um, we've never had a, a team that's like literally has a project that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. 
And from what the TAs are telling me, everyone has something. Uh, it builds, it goes on a website. So if you think about it, everyone's going to get at least a 50, uh, you know, 25,000 out of 50,000. So we can go ahead and spot you that first 25,000 now, probably, unless you literally have something that doesn't build on that day. So I wouldn't be worried about this. This is, hey, you have, you have something that turns on you know, that sort of level, if you've been passing sprint checks up at this point, you're just going to get this 25k, okay? It's just, it's, it, it, we're basically going and tossing you that, that first half of the score that we know everyone's going to get. So that will be given at the end of sprint check six. Now, the end of sprint check six is when we start beta testing week. So beta tests are going to be due the week of, of April 20th. I'm pointing at a calendar down here on my desk. Are going to be due the week of April 20th. Um, now, how this is going to work is like this. Um, Testing managers, you have your beta testing report that you should be looking at, and then you should also be looking at this um, beta testing assignment document right here, okay? So you get that by clicking right here under beta testing under lab six. And what this is showing is, so let's say for instance, you are beta tester Caroline DiLorenzo, okay? That is who you are. The two teams that will be beta testing your team's app our team wildcard and team scrumpy cat okay so what you do caroline talking to you directly caroline what you're going to do is you're going to say okay team wildcard team wildcard they're kind of somewhere down here oh there's team wildcard i need to contact jimmy and tell him um here's the link to our app will you give this to your team so they know what to do and then i need to contact team scrumpy cat okay Scrumpy cats, scrumpy cats, right here. I need to uh, contact Go Shear and say, "Hey, here's how you, here's how you get to my app, and here's how you test it." Okay, so that way you're gonna have about, you know, nine-ish people, not five, nine to ten people testing your app. And when you're done, when they're done, um, you have a, a form right here that you'll fill out, and you'll put their computing IDs just in a comma-separated line there, so then that I can go back and verify that they did it, and therefore I can give them XP. Now, everyone, including testing managers, everyone, if you want to do a third beta test to get a, as many uh, XP towards lab attendance as possible, that's great. You're welcome to do so. You can contact any other team on that sheet, any, any team that you want, team of people that you know, not know, whatever. Just say, hey, I would like to get more points. Can I be a beta tester for your, for your system? And contact that beta testing, ma the testing manager, and they can hook you up. Okay, so testing managers, go to the sheet. These are the teams that will be beta testing your app. So you need to communicate with them how to do the beta testing. Everyone else, you can look through these two sheets and figure out who's the person that's gonna be contacting me. And that will, um, so you know who to look for. And then beta te testing managers, you will submit the list of computing IDs of everyone who successfully beta tested. Um, so I guess this is good. You don't have to go find beta testers. I'm giving them to you. Um, yeah, so there you go. And then you'll fill out the beta testing document and it will be due. So when the beta testing report report comes in that next week, so this is the week of April 20th, uh, what you'll be doing this week is you just meet with the TAs and say, okay, here's what came out of beta testing. Here's what we learned. And the TA will talk to you about, well, here's what I think you need to get done before you meet with Sheriff. So the final projects, when are they due? They're going to be due during the next week, the week of the 26 or 28, 29, and 30. So that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if you if you link, link click here, Scrum Masters, and you'll get to a well, that's the submission form. So you have to fill that out to give me your team um, and your Heroku and Link app, so I'll be able to grade it. And then you need to sign up for oh, the sign up is right here. Sorry, it's during the team meeting. You should sign up for a time. If you want to go ahead and sign up for a time now, you're welcome to do so. And I've got time slots between 10 and noon and 1 and 3 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There's exactly enough slots here for all 48 teams. The odds of this working out are slim. I recognize that. So if your team literally cannot meet during any of this, and I would, I would really like the whole team to be there, if at all possible. If one person can't be there for some reason, that's probably okay. But it really shouldn't be just be me and the Scrum Master or me and one other person. Um, so let's say at least four out of five of your team can make it or three out of four of your team can make it, whatever your team size is, uh, sign up for a time there, put your name, computing ID and team name. I really should have that there. 
This is terrible grammar, but you know, I don't really care. We're all in this together. We all know what's going on. So there you go. So give me that information and then I will set up some Zoom links and we will kind of go from there and you will do your final demo with me. Um, yeah, because I want to see all your projects and I want to talk to you about how things went and all of that sort of fun and exciting stuff. So that is how the final project will go. So ask me any questions about that on the Piazza thread. Now the final thing um, is the final exam. Now the way the final exam was going to work and still is going to work this way is there's 60,000 points assigned to the six quizzes, 10,000 each, plus the final. If you missed a question on quiz one, let's say you got 8K out of 10K, you could retake that 2K question that you missed on the final, you would say, I'm gonna take this question. And I would, I basically have a, a script that generates a, a quiz for each individual person with just the questions you can answer to earn points back. Um, with quizzes being more open note, I'm not expecting as many people to need this, but we will see, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the final scores from the first take on quiz yet. Um, but it'll be the same thing. So during that week, uh, or before that week, I'll put up a link where it says register for final and you'll click on that and say, I want to take the final. Here are the questions I want to retake. And then um, during that week, I will send you um, those questions and you will do a take home just like you've done the other quizzes and you'll have several days to do it and you'll turn those in to me and then we'll kind of go from there. So the, the final is completely optional. If you're doing credit, no credit, and you get to the final and you don't need the points, please don't take it. Um, if you are just trying to get a particular letter grade and you want to earn some more points, that's great. If you already have an A, please don't take it. Um, but it'll, it'll be in the same format. So that's my plan for the rest of the lectures. The schedule is here as it's supposed to be. I'll fix that thing about the guide to practice being due on that on Wednesday the 18th, which is not correct. That should be Saturday. Um, yeah. So I think that's our plan. Um, if you have any questions, if I got something wrong, there's probably something wrong. Uh, th there's almost no way I don't have another typo in here somewhere. So uh, take a look. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any concerns, let me know. And yeah, let's rock out April. Um, finish out these projects and go team. Yay. All right, gang. Bye.